If you want to test your audio, you need to have this spectrum scope in the center mode. There's a center mode and there's a fixed mode. In the center mode, and you want to set this about 5 kilohertz minus 5 to plus 5. This goes all the way up to uh, 500. If you keep clicking on that number, but you do want to go back to approximately 5 kilohertz. Next thing when you're checking audio is you can do it with absolutely no RF power here in the final amplifier even though you do have a driver running. You don't need to be sending out an extra RF over the air. Now when you transmit and you start talking, you'll notice that the audio is showing up here in the spectrum scope. I've turned off the averaging. I've set up the bandwidth to narrow and I've actually changed some of the colors here. You can see what my color settings are. I use fill plus line. The waveform, I don't care about an outline of the waveform, so that's black. But the waveform color being green is good. And if you want to have a max hold signal there, you could leave that green also. And let's go to max hold here and see what happens when you turn that on, max hold turn on a 10 second hold and you end up seeing something like this which fills in where the audio was. That's sometimes helpful. So you can turn that off and uh, you'll be back to this what appears to be like a regular scope setting. You can also set this averaging up quite a bit and now you'll see more or less an averaged uh, signal and this is showing between uh, well, if this is 5 kilohertz, that's minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. I'm actually generating about a 3 kilohertz wide signal. So let me send a pre-recorded uh, thing that I stuck here in this voice location. This is W6FCC, Whiskey 6, Fox, Charlie, Charlie. Testing. Kilo 3, Uniform Kilo. So those are a couple of other samples of audio, and this is my regular mic audio. If you don't have the mic gain set up right, let's see what this can happen. If you were now at, what, about 10 o'clock? If you get down here low enough, you basically get a very little audio, and if you take the compression off, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, you have a very, very small amount of audio. So you probably want the mic set Let's just set it here to, I don't know, about that 10 o'clock level. 1, 2, 3, 4, testing 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you can add some compression to it if you want to. People like compression. Some people do. And what you want to look for here is this compression indicator. You notice here, 1, 2, 3, 4, we're getting uh, 5, 15, hello, 1, 2, 3, 4. You can get quite a bit of... Uh, this compression here, that's way too much and you probably wouldn't sound very good. So you want to have a minimal amount of compression. Hello, one, two, three, four. I'll go up here, I'm, I'm tapping the right mouse button. One, two, three, four, testing. Hello, testing here. I can see I'm, I maybe have a little bit too much of a level. So I would set the uh, the levels here so that this scope looks good. And if you go to the other scope here, you can tell uh, right now we're at 1.935. It's not showing anything. That's because in transmit mode, the scope doesn't show anything at all. And the reason that it's showing something here is because in that set, I've said, show the scope in the center mode during transmit. I have that turned on. If you turn that off, by the way, uh, you won't see the scope and it'll just stay there hung and if you come back to it, let me go to here and come back to the scope, there's no scope. So you click the set, you make sure that the scope is on and that you've got uh, your audio level set so you see some audio and then if you stop talking there's a certain amount of uh, noise in the air, I can't hear it very well but the computer has got a fan running on it and what have you. So this you want to see when you're transmitting audio. And remember, you don't need any power here. 
and you find a frequency that's sort of empty, but you're going to be running so little power nobody's going to hear you. And then you unclick check the transmit button, and you're back in receive mode. So those are some ways to check the amount of transmitted audio that you have. If I come down here and, and bring up my playback devices, which are here, the audio that I'm using is this particular one. What about the recording? It's this it's this audio down here. You can see it moving around. If you uh, right click on it and look at the properties and go up here to levels, you can modify the levels. I have no mic boost. I suppose I could add a boost of 10 dB and that will probably change the you can see there's quite a bit of audio here now. So if I then go back into transmit mode, one, two, three, four, five, I have an awful lot of compression. You see this? This is way too much. So you you would be splattering quite a bit. I don't think it would sound very good. So you got your couple of options. You can either turn the compression way down again after you've turned the mic gain up. Testing one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Yeah, that's that's maybe a little bit better. So I've changed the uh, the setting here on that audio, on the recording audio here. I've gone here to this device that I'm using, which is the microphone, and I right click and look at the properties, and then under levels. You can add a microphone boost and a line level and stuff until you can see that you're transmitting a, a nice, good signal during uh, the time that you want to be transferring audio. And as you stop, there's still a little bit of noise left in the room here. There you go. W6FCC doing a test for transmit audio level checking.